Can you believe it? The Galaxy S9 released back in 2018 is now running Android 14 with One UI 6. And guess what? It's not just the S9, but also the S9 Plus and Note 9 that have joined the party. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of how you can get Android 14 on your Galaxy S9, S9 Plus or Note 9. Yes, you heard it right. You can actually transform your Galaxy 9 series into Samsung S24. Well, not on a hardware level, but you can replicate every software feature that comes with One UI 6.0. With this port from the S21 Ultra, you will get access to camera features, Samsung AI features like object eraser, good lock, customization option, and much more. And that's not all. I have noticed a significant improvement in performance, camera quality, battery life, and overall software experience with this update. If you have been using the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, or Note 9, you are probably familiar with how sluggish they have become over the years. But let me assure you, you will be amazed by the performance of your device after this update. Now, before we dive in, a quick disclaimer. Make sure to follow all the instructions provided in the video or by the developer. If something goes wrong, you risk breaking your device. So proceed only if you are confident in what you are doing. Since this is going to be a long video, I have also included chapters in the description. So you can easily jump into any specific part you are interested in. So first things first. Make sure you have backed up all your data and apps because in this process, you are going to lose everything. Once you have done that, head to the description of this video to download the necessary files. Make sure you have all of them and do not forget to install the Samsung drivers on your PC so it can detect your mobile phone. Now ensure your device is well charged. Next, we will turn off our device and then we will boot into recovery mode by pressing the Bixby, power and volume down buttons simultaneously. Once you see the recovery mode screen, set your phone aside and focus on your laptop screen. Click on this file, it is known as Ordin. Once Ordin is loaded, go to its options and uncheck auto restart. Now click on AP and upload the TWRP file you downloaded earlier. Make sure it's the correct one for your device model. Once it's loaded, grab your data cable and connect it to your phone. Auden should detect your device as shown here, indicating that you are ready to start flashing twerp. So click start and within seconds, this process should be completed and you should see pass. Press reset and that's it for twerp. You can disconnect your cable for now. Now let's boot into the twerp recovery that we just installed. To do that, press the power, Bixby and volume up button simultaneously. Keep your focus here. As soon as you see the Samsung logo, release the power button but continue holding the volume up and big speed buttons until you reach the screen. Here, swipe right to enter the twerp recovery options. Now take a moment to familiarize yourself with these options. Twerp is like a small operating system of its own, giving you various tools and settings to work with. For instance, you can adjust the screen brightness of Twerp here to avoid straining your eyes continuously. Additionally, if you are unsure about fully transitioning to the ROM you are installing, you can click on the backup button to create a backup of your current system. This backup can be used to revert back if you change your mind later. Just remember not to accidentally wipe it out while formatting rest of the data. Now let's proceed with copying the files you downloaded from the description below. Connect your phone again and start by copying the patch twerp file to the mobile phone storage. Once it is copied, Pick up your phone and navigate to install option in twerp. Select the file we just copied and swipe right to flash it. Be patient during this process. Losing your calm might lead to mistakes you will regret later. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as you can see my followers are very less and I would like to have you here so please join me by subscribing it. Thank you. Once the flashing is complete, let's return to the screen and copy the other file. This time we'll be flashing the repartitioner.zip file. So let's copy it to the phone storage as well. After it's copied, pick up your phone again and return to the install option in Twerp. Scroll down until you locate the file we just copied. Swipe right to flash this file and wait for it to install. Once this file is flashed, your phone will automatically reboot into recovery mode. Well, wait here for a moment and pay attention. Can you see your internal storage on your PC? If yes, you're good to go. And you can skip what I'm about to show next. For those of you who have issues after flashing the repartitioner file, like your phone does not reboot itself into the recovery mode and you cannot see anything in the install folder or you can no longer see your phone storage on your PC, that's exactly what I was talking about. Don't worry, we can fix that. Just go back to the main menu, navigate to wipe and select format data. 
type yes and swipe right to clean it. Then go back and reboot into recovery mode. Great job, we fixed it. Let the drop recovery start. Well, now we can resume. So assuming that you did not encounter any issues and have successfully installed the repartitioner file, let's proceed with adding the cleaner file to the phone storage. Copy it into the phone storage, then pick up your phone and navigate to install option in the drop. Select the cleaner file we just copied and swipe right to flash it. Allow the phone to complete it and reboot itself into TWARP. Once the recovery is loaded up, you may notice that your storage is no longer visible on the computer screen. Well, now is the time to bring it back as we did before. So go into the main menu, navigate to wipe and select format data. Type yes and swipe right to clean it. Then go back and reboot into recovery mode. You should see your storage now. Now let the TWARP recovery start again. Once TWARP is loaded up and you are on the menu, connect your phone to your PC again. This time we will simply copy our ROM file which is this one, Noble ROM 4.0 Calibria 2. Wait for it to be copied. This may take a while so be patient and wait for it to finish. So once you see the ROM file copied, you are free to disconnect your phone. Pick up your phone and proceed with the rest of the installation. Open twerp and navigate to install. Select the ROM file and swipe right to start flashing. Accept the terms and agreement and move on by clicking on the toggle. You will see two options here. Since I have a backup created, I am choosing dirty flash. However, if you have not created a backup and won't go back, I suggest you go with a clean install. So choose whichever applies to you and press next. Now in the long list of CSC code, find your country code and then press next. If you cannot see your country code, select any neighboring country and proceed. Now choose advanced debloat and click next. Here you will see options for debloating. You can either make selections similar to mine or customize them according to your preferences. So take your time here and press next. Now here choose which apps you don't want to install. Whatever you choose will not be installed. So after making your selections, press next. On this step, I will leave everything as it is. But if you do not want Bixby and other features, just switch the toggle on and press next. Toggle on these options as they look helpful and then proceed to the next step. Now again, you can either make selections similar to mine or customize them according to your preferences. Take your time here and press next. Here I would like to remap the Bixby button to camera button. So I am going with that. However, if you want something else, just choose it and press next again. Now if you want deck support on your phone, press no. So it can be loaded onto an external display instead of your phone. For the remaining options, make selections as per your desires. Take your time and choose wisely. So once you are done, press next again to move to the next step. This time you will see that the ROM has started flashing. This loading and flashing process will take around 5 to 10 minutes and then the device will turn off and reboot itself. So just wait for it to finish this process. Once your device reaches the Samsung logo, it will again take around 5 to 10 minutes before you start to see it finally loading up. After a bit of waiting, you will see a welcome logo. Doesn't this look so amazing? Now let's get through this generic setup process as nothing here should take too much time. It's pretty straightforward. Set up a lock if you want and so on. After completing this process, if I take you to the settings, you can see that our phone has been updated to Android 14 with its model number changed to Galaxy S21 as well. In my experience, this ROM is very stable and fast with no major bugs that I have encountered. However, there are a few things worth mentioning. Firstly, you will lose iris scan unlocking with it. Additionally, although the camera app has a portrait option, it doesn't really work. And other than that, everything is working perfectly fine for me. So one last thing. In the apps menu, you will see the Magisk app. Click on it to update it. Once it's updated, open the app, go to settings and toggle on this option. Now go back to modules, you will see an option to update these. So update these and once it's done, reboot your phone. And once these are updated, reboot your phone again and you're all set. However, if you encounter any issues, try factory resetting your phone again and you should be good to go. And last thing guys, since this is a fairly new ROM, when you install it, 
do share your findings in the comments below so that others can benefit from your thoughts. And I would highly appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Have a good day. This is Han Estig signing off.